Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here, and I have gotten tons of questions about the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector and how to remove it in case you happen to crack it or get air bubbles or whatever your reason may be. A lot of people don't really know how to remove the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector off of their device. So today I'm gonna be using my Galaxy S20 Ultra for this video and show you guys how you can remove the Whitestone Dome Glass Screen Protector off of this device or any device that you may have it on. Now, I have made a previous video showing how to do this there's pretty much two different ways you can do it so in that previous video I showed one of the ways in this video I'm going to show the other way which does involve a blow dryer so let's go ahead and get this started now in my previous video the one way I showed was just basically sticking your fingernail under the screen protector and just slowly sliding it under slowly peeling that screen protector off now doing it that way actually causes the screen protector to crack as you are pulling it off which can be a little bit dangerous you might cut yourself or you might scratch that display but the end result was good I didn't have any residue left on the screen or anything like that so it still came off pretty good even though we did get some cracks along the way well today I am going to be using a blow dryer to heat up the adhesive under the screen protector the glue that's holding it to the display which is going to make it easier to take this screen protector off and hopefully it won't crack on us either that's where the blow dryer comes in and it kind of helps it not to crack so let's go ahead and do this okay so let me go ahead and start heating it up here with the blow dryer you're gonna want to go over it for about 30 seconds maybe before you start actually peeling off that screen protector so let me go ahead and get started till it starts feeling a little warm here like I said for about 30 seconds let me go ahead and go over it Now, after a while, you can feel it starting to get warm. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for a little bit, just set it to the side. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and set my fingernail right under the screen protector. There we go, as you can see, it's starting to peel up and just start sliding it along this way. And then I'll go back up to the top, slide it along this way. As you can see, it's not cracking and hopefully it won't crack. There we go, it's feeling pretty flexible. Let's go down a little bit more. And you just wanna go nice and easy. You don't have to go too fast. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and heat it up just a little bit more. You wanna make sure it stays nice and soft. You don't want it to start drying up on you again, making it harder for yourself. That seems like it should be good. So let me start on this side now. I'm gonna start on the corner up here. There we go. Slide along the top. Then I'll go ahead and slide down this way. Now this is a process, so you are going to have to be a bit patient while doing this. Now I'm just gonna kind of lift up slowly so you can see it's starting to come off, starting to look a little bit flexible, but hasn't broken yet. So we seem to be doing pretty good so far. Now these screen protectors can actually be salvaged pretty easily if you do this the right way. Look at that, we're almost there. I shouldn't have to heat it up again. I wouldn't think so. I'm gonna leave a little gap with my right thumb over there and then start putting my fingernail under this way, peeling that up. Almost there, almost there and boom look at that and i'm gonna go ahead and turn this upside down so i don't get any of that adhesive on the side now you can see there is a little bit of residue on the display so let me go grab a rag really quick all right so i got a wet napkin here now at this point all you got to do is just get some kind of wet napkin a wet towel or if you have any wet towelettes you can basically just use that to clean off your display so let me just go ahead and go over it really quick here 
And there we go, looking good. Look at that, looking brand new. Let me go ahead and fix my camera really quick. Let me bring it up. And look at that, no residue was left on the display, looking brand new once again. Just got a little bit of dust there. We can go ahead and wipe that off. But yes, the display looks good as new. And as you can see, we had no trouble taking this off. It was really easy, especially when you use that blow dryer to heat up that screen protector before peeling it off. As you can see, I didn't get any cracks hardly any residue left on the display came off really easily and now it is looking good as new so i really hope that this video helps somebody out that was wondering how exactly to take this screen protector off of any device you may have it on this is one of the easiest ways to do it without having it crack or leave too much residue on the display if you did find this helpful if you did like this video make sure to leave it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come look at this looking brand new let me know what you think down in the comments sections below thank you so very much for watching this is josh quinones i will see you guys on the next one peace out